So I'm Fred Mills, I'm co-founder and MD of the B1M, uh, and tonight we've been at the world premiere of Habitation at London's Regent Street Cinema. My friends from school went on to do all kinds of high-flying careers, you know, proper jobs like uh, you know, banking and politics and law. Um, and I went to a barbecue one Saturday and, and someone asked me, what, what do you do, Fred? And I said, oh, I, I work in construction. And they said, oh, well, that makes sense because you're, you're quite broad-shouldered, you must be good at lifting bricks. When people think about construction, they think about guys laying bricks, they think about white men in vans, wolf whistling at women on the street. Um, but it's not that, it's Hyperloop, it's robots, it's drones, it's people making decisions that impact climate change, that shape our cities, that, as we've seen in this documentary, shape the way we live. Um, and I wanted to celebrate that. So we knew there was, there was this amazing industry out there. We knew there were these uh, platforms that were really celebrating you know, video and native video content. Uh, we put the two together and that's how the B1M was born. This is what happens when you show people how great construction really is and what it can be. This is the B1M. Uh, so it's just me originally. So I used to do all the uh, editing, uploading, social media, and all the stuff that, that goes with it. Um, but where I am now is surrounded by a group of people who are exceptional at what they do and who I can rely on and who are taking this channel to a different level. You know, it's everything from major urban regenerations to master plans that are shaping cities to the outlandish projects, you know, like uh, Shanghai's underwater quarry or, um, you know, the, the schemes that are going up in New York, the rise of New York's Billionaire's Row is, is one of our most successful videos. So, I mean, obviously now we've got 7 million viewers a month. Uh, we've got half a million YouTube subscribers. I am blown away by it. I think, you know, we, we set out to do something that felt huge. It felt so far away from my day job at the time. Um, and now I'm looking at the videos we put out, the traction we have, the subscriber base we have. It's, it's incredible and I'm incredibly humbled by that. Um, but I'm, I'm not bluffing when I say I want to fundamentally change the perception of this industry on planet Earth. For us, that means reaching a, a billion people uh, through our videos. Um, we want to surpass a million YouTube subscribers um, uh, and we want to move our viewership from 7 million views a month to uh, almost up to 100 million views a month. That's where we want to get to and, and uh, go for complete and utter worldwide domination. <laughs> <laughs> In every corner of our planet, people are anchored by their homes. Around the world, the demand for homes is increasing as our population expands and now outstrips the rate at which we can construct these critical spaces. Our changing cultures are disrupting established home building conventions. Our cities are expanding faster and are now more densely occupied than at any time in human history. So how can we overcome these challenges? How do we create high quality homes that positively shape our global society? Absolutely. So I think when people talk about the housing crisis, what they mean is the fact that we uh, there's a higher demand for homes than there are homes available. Um, so there's greater demand than there is supply. And the gap between the two is what we're calling a, a housing crisis. Um, that's happening in numerous major cities around the world, but uh, in particular, it's happening in the UK as well. So uh, frankly, and as we saw in the video and in the panel discussion, the UK is not building enough new and affordable homes. We need to build a lot more homes. There's, there's a knee jerk reaction to that, which is let's put up uh, cheap, quick, badly designed homes as quickly as we can, particularly in the affordable housing sector. I think that's unacceptable. Um, and I think particularly post Grenfell, people are realizing that the quality of the built environment really matters. And it's not just, you know, quality isn't just something that's reserved for billionaires and their, and their swanky apartments. It needs to be embedded in every part of housing, in particular in social housing. But what we wanted to do with Habitation was really highlight some of the best practice out there that's being done in a clever, intelligent, thoughtful way with the same constraints, with the same site constraints, the same cost constraints, the same planning, bureaucracy and, and procurement constraints uh, to really show the industry that actually it, it doesn't have to be that way. It can be, a, it can be a different way. It can be better than what we're doing. 
Um, and obviously I'm terribly biased, I'm probably too close to the film, but I think it does that. I think government needs to get behind it, but in a way that doesn't just you know, demand that homes are built at X number of rate as quickly as possible, um, but recognises the things we've talked about in the documentary, you know, the, the fact that we need good quality homes. These are, these are spaces that shape our society. You know, if you look at the importance that government places on education and schools, I think the importance of placing our homes should be equally important. As we said at the start of the documentary, these are the spaces that govern our psychology. They govern how we feel when we get up in the morning, how we go out into the world, how we're going to act and behave with other people around us. If we can get this right, it has a huge, huge impact for our society. And you know, that's, that's the power of construction. That's what we're trying to say with the B1M. You know, it's, not, it's not a dead-end industry of white men laying bricks in the rain. It's people making decisions that shape all of our lives.